right in the center of Birmingham, this company, AM Hydraulics, is a big advocate of Harrison and Colchester machines. They're one of the most successful subcontract machinists within this region. I'm gonna go and meet with Cooks, who's gonna tell us why he likes buying his machines from 600 UK. MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Cooks, it's good to be here today. It looks like you've got a really healthy allegiance for 600 UK and their Colchester Harrison machines. What do you like about their products? The flexibility, the range they offer, their service, uh, the price range. And, and on the range, this is one of a few that you've got, and we'll look at some of the other machines in a minute. Just tell me about this machine, it's, it's quite sizeable. Yeah, this is the 2800 XS. Uh, this one particular one's got the live tooling option with a 10 inch bore. Um, and it allows us to do the bigger shaft work and the bigger, longer tube work. And can you bury tubes down uh, the hollow spindle? Yeah, absolutely. We've got a 10 inch spindle on this with a back chuck. Even though the distance six meters between centers, we can get eight, nine meter tubes in there. And, and that must put your business into a slightly different league to lots of others. Did you buy this type of machine to make your competition narrower? Absolutely. That was the main objective, to go into bigger stuff that other people can't handle. And the craneage as well, that must give you the edge. Is that a 20 tonne crane? Absolutely, yeah. 20 tonne uh, obviously narrows down our competition because we can lift the bigger, heavier stuff. And you've spoken about tubes. What else would you machine on here? Shaft work? Shaft work, big flange work, different materials. We do a lot of exotics on there for aerospace and it handles all nice materials. And I suppose because you've got your mill drill function, it means you can, you can kind of machine the parts in one hit. Absolutely. So instead of having to just do the turning, then moving on to a borer or a milling machine, saves a lot of time. And your business, I have to compliment you on your facility or your factory here. Very light, very clean. How, how many guys do you employ? Just under 50 at the moment. Uh, we wanted to create a nice working environment and now, you know. You've certainly got that. And, and the business AM or a &M Hydraulics, does that mean that you're into hydraulics or is it broader than that? It's a lot broader than that. Um, we started off as a hydraulics company, then we went into subcon machining and currently I'd say 75% of our business is subcon machining now. Is it? Okay, we've spoken about this bigger machine. We'll come back onto machines. Let's go and have a look at some of the other machines you've got from 600 UK. Okay, cool. So how many machines in total do you have from 600 UK then, Cooks? Oh gosh, Paul, I'd say at least 15. 50, and do you know the split when it comes to the brands of Colchester and Harrison? Um, about 50-50. And if you took those two brands themselves, would, would there be anything on one of those that you like more than another, or do you, are, are they both very similar? Uh, they're pretty similar, except now the Harrisons are doing bigger ranges like the 2800. Because the control is also a big factor from 600 UK, certainly with, with Fanuc and some of the options they offer. Do you program at the machines? We program at the machines and we use the manual eye guide. I've seen that in action actually, it's very easy to use. It's brilliant, it's brilliant. And one thing I do also notice here, you, you use a lot of steady, so I know you're doing your, your shaft work, but most of your machines here do have the mill drill turrets. Is that something that you've rolled out throughout the machine shop? Yeah, at the moment when we look to buy a new machine, we go for that facility. Uh, like I mentioned before, it saves a lot of time setting up on another machine. We can do everything in one setting. And when we talk about materials, because it is something that people are interested in, what do you machine material-wise? Uh, all sorts, Paul. Uh, mild steels, brasses, cast irons. But then we go into the more exotics like the Incos, Wasp alloys, titaniums, super duplexes. And with having so many machines, you must be confident in the backup and support that 600 UK offer you. Absolutely, and that, that's one of the key reasons we're buying more machines of 600. I mean, a drop of a hat, anything fails, I ring them up. The service department's excellent and the service I receive is second to none. And you're busy at the moment as a company? Uh, we're okay, we're okay. At the present climate, I would say we're, we're, we're faring well. Well, with the oil and gas market, it has been in a little bit of a decline, but I'm sure it'll pick up again. And, and I suppose you'll be looking forward to seeing your face on MTD, will you? Yeah, I will. I've, I've seen your websites and uh, I like the content, so yeah. Brilliant. Thanks for your time today, Cooks. Thank you very much. Cheers, Paul. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.